The reason why I'm here today on Dr. Phil is that I really want Brandy to change her life. Otherwise, I'm afraid she's gonna wind up dead. When I met Brandy, I thought she was a sweet, wonderful woman. And now, she's angry, mean, vindictive, and cruel. Shut your mouth. Hey. Shut that face. Hey, lady. Hey, no, no, no. I never tried to control Brandy. I never told her or forced her to quit her job. I gave her that option. Yes, I did track my ex-wife on her phone and I did put a GPS on her car. The reason I did that was I felt that she was cheating on me. Brandy cheated on me twice during our marriage that I know of. I was never unfaithful. Brandy's obsessed with the fact that she always thinks I'm cheating. Even last night she said I was cheating on her and we're not even married anymore. All of my ex-wife's problems stem from alcohol and excessive drinking. She'll curse. Cause Why that open her mouth. That is enough. Let's go that before they call the police. At times she'll hit me right in front of the children. Because of Brandy's drinking, every holiday she ruined. She would get so drunk, she would yell at her friends, our relatives. Brandy's had a lot of run-ins with the law. Brandy's legal fees have run me in excess of over $100,000. I would always bail her out. A little less than a year ago, she was so drunk that she admitted that she was having an affair. She hit my hand and busted her nose and blood went everywhere. Our son has almost seen every single incident. You know you because you This is all our 11 year old knows. I never wanted to divorce Brandy, but I just couldn't take it anymore. In a perfect world, I'd love to get back with Brandy. Given her destructive behavior, that's impossible. <laughs> Okay, Victor, thank you for being you here. You did want to divorce um, me because you didn't want to have to pay spousal support or child support. Excuse me. Victor, thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, but I signed a prenup. Tell me, tell me what uh, your goal is in being here today. Well, my goal is to really get Brandy some help because uh, her alcohol abuse, her violent behavior, uh, she's just a bomb waiting to explode. But I, you don't have a problem with alcohol. I do not think I'm an alcoholic, but when I drink, I drink to an excess, and that's when the volatile behavior comes out because I'm hurting, and so that's the way I exhibit mm -hmm. my feelings. Okay, she says you are controlling and vindictive and narcissistic, and oh, wow. I could go on and Egregious, on and on. Entitled. Uh, why does she say that? It's so funny because those same exact adjectives are what I've been telling her for the last 20 years. Oh, well, thanks for teaching me. You got a divorce. Yes. And you recently finalized it. It it languished for a long time, but you just recently finalized it. Yes, sir. And I wasn't there. Why did you finalize it? I finalized it because uh, I found that she was having an affair. But you weren't giving me the attention and the love that I it's needed. It's not the attention. You, you, I lost all attention <clears throat> and all compliments and anything that I could give you <clears throat> affection because of the way you were acting. You, How can I be affectionate? and give you confidence in yourself, be sweet, whatever it is, with, with you acting like this. But look this. at where the marriage was going, Victor. Look, you turned my children against me, my youngest. I, you let him read text messages. He would say that I was an adulterer, a whore. <clears throat> Brandy, you did this all yourself. Every bit of no, it. You're no, no one is 100% Listen, Brandy, you're 43 years old. After a certain age, you should know your morals and priorities. You, you made me lose my morale. You drove me to a point of insanity. I didn't drive you anywhere. Behavior. But you said that he, he broke your nose. My nasal they, bone was broken and I had a scratched cornea. And he says that I ran towards him and he put his hand up. And I did run towards him, so maybe he was protecting himself.